Well, good morning, good morning, my loves. So today we are going shoe shopping at one of my favorite places. If you all remember, um, a couple of years ago, I did a video on this and um, I've actually been on their podcast and I know the owners, phenomenal place. The only place I get my running shoes from anyways. And one of the things that I get in my inbox all the time is, Kimberly, how do I get started running? Especially for a plus size girl. Let me tell you, it starts with your feet. So we're gonna go take a look in here and uh, we're gonna get some running shoes. Selfie. Okay. Left us out. <laughs> I'll be single that I know. Why can't you? Okay, my love. So I am not um, new to this. I am truly true to this. Here is my favorite. It's called The Body. Um, I've ran a number of half marathons, marathons, um, 5Ks, 10Ks, 15Ks with this brand. I love this brand because it's very cushiony. And for a fat girl, when you want to feel like you're on top of a cloud and you're running on air, this is really going to help you out. I have big feet. We're not going to go over my size, but here we go. All right, y'all, so now I've done one of the shoes is with, I've went up like a half, a size and a half, two sizes up than my foot because it tends to swell. So I'm going to try one, well, I'm trying on the pair, but one with the runner's loop so that it doesn't slip in the back and the other one just the traditional um, knot, okay? So one thing you have to understand, a good running shoe is going to cost. Getting sneakers for $29.99, maybe for gym workouts is cool. But when you're talking about long distance running, if you're plus size like I am, and when I got started was much, much bigger, like around 400 pounds, 300 pounds, whatever, um, you need support. Your foundation <clears throat> is everything. So you're going to want to make sure that your feet are very well taken care of and that you make the proper investment in your shoe care, okay, or sportswear, whatever. So let me show you some of the, um, these are my favorite brands, so I'm going to show you. So right here we have the Mazzani, which is an awesome sneaker. It's very light, not for long distance running in my opinion, especially if you're overweight and flat footed like me, you don't want to do that, um, but very stylish. Here is Saucony, one of my favorite brands. Um, it Saucony is right up there with hookahs. And of course, I love New Balance. New Balance, I will wear the hell out of. I used to sell shoes when I was younger, like a teenager, and kind of got pretty um, knowledgeable about shoe, um, boots and things of that sort, but didn't know how to make them applicable to um, running. Now, here's the hookah. Now, I have had so many versions of the hookah. Um, as you can tell, they are a little pricey for some people. This is not pricey, but um, they last a long time. And you can get like 500 to 800 miles on these shoes, okay? So don't underestimate the power of your sneakers like they really can take you a long ways and it's going to help with any kind of body pain knee pain back pain now another little tidbit is your socks i cannot stress this running socks okay now when you run when you're walking hiking whatever what tends to happen especially long distance um your feet is going to swell okay your feet is going to swell you need good compression if you notice some people wear compression socks things of this sort and so here at um big peach running co they have everything here i will say some things you can get cheaper like on amazon but i initially when i want to try out a new product I come here. Here's a little fitness area. Um, they keep everything on file, so it's a really good database, a really good investment. Which kind of gives it like feel like compression feeling. Okay. It has like light cushion yeah. to help really help protect your toes and your heel. So it was it elite. was this one. Yeah, it was features. It was uh -huh. elite, and it was light cushion. So we have 
the gray, the kind of so here's just another little overview of the store. This is the Midtown location. I know there's one up in um, Marietta off of Johnson's Ferry, if I'm not mistaken. I've been to a number of them. So, this is a men's. I'm not going to tell the size. I already got big ass feet, and then I, I went up a size and a half. <laughs> but I feel good. We're about to get these babies baptized. On the pavement. On the pavement. <laughs> well, hey, hey, my loves. Okay, so I have made my purchase. I decided to go with them. Um, I am going to do... Wait. I see a bunch of sneakers on sale. Literally in front of me. I forgot about the sale table. L let me show you something. Sale table. Ugh. Oh. Oh my goodness. So I guess my running plans for today is canceled because the rain has come early. It was supposed to come much later. So I guess I have to force myself to go to the gym. Um, one of the things I wanted to share with you all um, quickly is when you are shopping for, you're gonna have to invest the time, do the test drive. I'm gonna put in a video, a link below on a couple of other ones where I came to um, um, this particular, it was the Alpharetta location though. Um, I came to um, Run Co, well, Run ATL company, um, and um, went through the whole. It's like it takes about an hour or so for you to kind of check your stride. You want to see if your foot pronates, you want to see what socks work out for you. Socks are very important. And remember, um, it's all about foundation, and that's something people cheap out. When you want to become a runner, and if you want to do any kind of sports, quality matters, okay? There's a reason why people are not wearing, basketball players are not wearing um, cheap sneakers. It's not about, oh, it just gets the job done. You have to look at how it's gonna affect your overall body. Um, I learned my lesson the hard way with a couple of runs um, where I had, didn't I didn't wear, because you have different sneakers for different runs or different activities, and I kind of cheaped out and, um, <laughs> My body paid dearly for, from it. Um, almost lost a couple of my toenails. Okay, uh, you all know. If for you runners, you know about the black toenails, right? Um, so it's I've I learned that lesson, and being that um, I'm getting back into um, the more intensive running, um, it's it, I had it was time for me to restock um, on my sneakers. So um, in the next couple of weeks, because um, I budget. And because of <laughs> with some of my businesses that I have, um, I spend my like leisure stuff on my tip money. All right, so y'all know I do Uber part time, and some that money it goes to stuff like this, so that I can I don't have to tap into my other funds. Okay, so um, I hope you all make the proper investment. So before you start get thinking you're gonna get out there on the pavement, I'm telling you, if you don't invest in the right footwear you're gonna have excruciating back pain and most of my big girls tend to have knee pain you don't want that spend the money okay make the investment because in the long run when you buy the cheaper sneakers anyways that you only can put 50 miles on when you buy those you're gonna by the time you buy three or four of them you can still be wearing the one like let me show you okay don't don't cheat yourself all right because when you cheat yourself not treat but cheat yourself um, you really mess up you know um, your body in in this all right and this is what I'm talking about it's gonna separate the pros from the novice from the people who's just like they think they could just kind of do this leisurely um, which is cool but for you all my big girls please invest in proper foot care Please, please, please. I cannot stress that enough, okay? Until next time, I will talk to you later.